Tickets to the Wimbledon men's final cost £3,250. The women's final costs £965. Yet prize money for both sexes is equal. The people who pay those kinds of prices to watch the best players, why are they prepared to pay over three times more for men's tennis than they do for women's tennis? To put it another way, if women's tennis is worth equal prize money, why is it not worth an equal ticket price? Add to this that men are required to play much more tennis than women, with men playing the best of five sets and women playing only the best of three, and that men play tennis at a much higher standard than women, and that the requirement for men to play more tennis means that most male players have no time left to play in the other events like the doubles, meaning that women are able to earn much more than men at events. With all this, what you end up with is very clear, multifaceted discrimination against men in professional tennis. Yet, we pay women equal prize money because of the usual pattern of women complaining and men attending to that complaint. Women complained that it was discrimination against women to pay men more for their greater ability, their greater number of sets played and their greater audience appeal. And men agreed. Prize money in 2012 was 1.1 million, with men required to play a minimum of 21 sets to win the prize, whereas women were only required to play 14 sets to win the same amount. As it played out in 2012, Roger Federer played 26 sets to win Wimbledon. In contrast, Serena Williams played just 17 sets. This means that Federer received £44,000 per set, whereas Williams received 67000 That's a £23,000 pay advantage for women per set a more than 50% higher rate of pay. And this is called equality by Venus Williams, and everyone else it seems. A common argument is that female players are working relatively just as hard as their male counterparts. However, this raises some interesting questions. If we say that a woman playing the best of three sets is doing the same amount of work as a man playing the best of five, then what we're saying is that female players are less capable than male players. And if that's true, then this is a reason to pay women less, not a reason to pay them more. And if it's fair as it stands, with women pay the same prize money as men despite playing less tennis, if that's currently fair, then why would Venus Williams say that women would be happy to play five sets? Wouldn't that then make it unfair for women? Wouldn't the complaint then be that women were being required to work harder than men for the same pay? The reason Venus Williams won this argument it's the same reason that women win virtually any argument where they claim sex discrimination, even when it's demonstrably false. No one feels able to speak out against the claims because of a fear of what they might be accused of. We live in deeply dishonest times. There's nothing unique about tennis and the issue of fair pay. It simply represents the manner in which we've decided to treat women and it illustrates in sharp relief the preferential treatment that women are prepared to not only accept but fight for, while simultaneously claiming that all they wish for is equality. And we all nod our heads in agreement and effectively celebrate this discrimination against men. And it's the men who nod most energetically.